Hey guys, RPM here. All right, this video, I want to see if my Jazz Miner X41U is going to stop mining Ethereum because we are going to be hitting up the 5 gigabyte DAG size as of pretty much pretty soon, which is block 15,360,000. And so right now, I'm just on one of my HiveOS uh, A2000 rigs and it's showing that we are on Epoch 511 or block 15,359,863. So we are about 137 blocks away from hitting the 15,360,000. So we're pretty close to the 5 gigabyte DAG size here. And if I put 5 gigabyte, so we should be on the next Epoch 512. So we're on 511 right now and then going to 5. 12 so i'm gonna show you guys exactly what will happen i guess and uh, i'm gonna wait till like another hour or two i'm gonna record the result here and we're gonna see if ethermine is gonna update my jazz miner here to no longer you know be disconnected on ethermine right and as well i do want to take note of all the current network hash rates that we're seeing on mining pool stats.stream okay so like 957 and let me refresh here 957.96 terahash or 911.87. And then looking at the two miners hash rate, we have 908.44 terahash. And then on Ethereum Classic, we have 31.80. Okay, so we're gonna see in about a couple hours here. I'll come back and I'll we'll we'll just compare the results. Before I show you guys the results, this video is sponsored by Minerdude.com. They provide the best feature-rich server cases for GPU mining with HiveOS integration and are 100% based in USA. So shipping and customer support is faster and easier than ever. They accept crypto and bank wire as payments. Link down below to Minerdude.com. Okay, another 40, 45 blocks to go. Here we go. 9954. Okay, we're getting up really close here. Another six more blocks. Six more blocks. I'm assuming with this new epoch, my A2000 rig is going to build a new DAG file. That's probably going to be really fast. Uh, but the Jazz Miner, it's probably going to take, I don't know, 30 to 40 minutes. Just like, uh, you know, when it resets or when I start it up. Took, takes about 40 minutes to get a get a hash rate. So yeah, it's gonna have to rebuild the DAG file here uh, for, for Epoch 512 and man, we're getting pretty close here Block five more blocks. Here we go. We're gonna do this real time guys real time five more blocks Etherscan 994 almost at 15 million three hundred sixty thousand and Four more blocks. Here we go. We're gonna do this live guys. Let's let's see here. I'm gonna take note of my A2000 rig here to see if it'll switch over to the next 512 epoch. Right now it's on 511. You guys can see right here. 15 million, 97. And let's see what the jazz miner, any... Okay, and I'm watching this log like a hawk. All right, so let me just refresh it here. It's going, it's going. Here we go. 999, one more block. Here we go. Here we go. One more block. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. Next epoch, 512. Let's see what T Rex Miner will do here. F5 on the Jazz Miner. Okay, real time, guys. Real time. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. One more. There we go. Block 15,360,000. Epoch 512. There we go. There you go. Generating the DAG for 5 gigabyte. Epoch 512. Let's go to the Jazz Miner. Refresh. Oh, seed is changed. Block number is 15,360,000. CPU will calculate new cache. <laughs> Restart Jazz Miner. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, there we go. Restart. Base okay. Uh, hard right reset. Reset done. All right. So, I'm assuming this is. Looks like it's going to, uh, it looks like it's, it's here, it's reset, and it's doing something. So look at that, the DAG generated for my A2000 rig, obviously with GPU mining, that's nice and fast. Memory left, 641 megabytes, because these are 6 gigabyte GPUs, but the Jazz Miner is 5 gigabytes, right? This is basically what we're trying to figure out here. One thing I thought of is that we're probably going to see a massive drop off here, um, assuming all the Jazz Miners are going to drop off at the same time and uh 557 926 okay 
Uh, I don't think this is real time. <laughs> the hash rate looks like it went up. Yeah, two miners is kind of kind of weird. Ethereum Classic hash rate went down. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a little bit. It's obviously gonna, gonna take a while, and uh, maybe my Ether mine here is also going to it's gonna update. But looks to be oh what is this bad bank? What is this bad flag position? Board SPI check done. Okay, link not ready. Okay, looks like it just restarted. Freeing unused kernel memory. 1024k mm, i don't see okay anyways guys we'll be back in about 30 40 minutes until this thing actually starts mining and i'll just uh i'll show you guys the results but yeah be right back all right guys so i just wanted to take a quick note here my jazz miner after about 27 minutes after the dag file it still hasn't connected or it's not mining as of right now so I know that normally it would take about 35, 40 minutes to start ramping up. But looking at, you know, Ethermine here, my Jazz Miner and my Loyal Tech 200 has dropped off here. I know the Loyal Tech has 6 gigabytes of VRAM, so I'm not too worried about that. That should come back up in about 35, 40 minutes. Same with the Jazz Miner. Oh, if the Jazz Miner will work because it's only 5 gigabytes, but we'll see if that happens. But the biggest thing I wanted to really talk about here is the amount of hash rate that has dropped off ethermine and f2 pool and all these other pools and just the whole network in general i've been following mining pool stats like a hawk okay so this is uh pretty exciting i have a picture here a couple of pictures that i've been taking note every couple minutes so this picture here was three minutes before the five gigabyte dag size okay so it was at 968 terahash showing here okay and if we go to ethermine over here or sorry mining pool stats now it says 881. Okay, and the biggest thing to take note here, Ethermine now shows a hash rate of 261.69 terahash after about 27 minutes. Okay, and if we go back to the picture, the hash rate was is was before 266. But the biggest drop off that I saw was f2pool.com. Three minutes before the five gigabyte was 131 terahash. Now it is 102. <laughs> That is a lot of terahash that has come off. This is, that is insane. That is just insane. And actually, I can prove, I actually took a picture about uh, two minutes, couple minutes after. So this is like two minutes after on mining pool stats. So you can see the hash rate did start to drop off on Ethermine, 265 now from 266. And then F2 pool says 128, okay, from 130, uh, 131, all right. So now the next picture here I have is about 10 minutes after on mining pool stats after the 5 gigabyte. Now it's at 263 on Ethermine, F2 pool showing 120 after 10 minutes. So 131 to 120 after 10 minutes, that's a pretty big drop off. But going along though, 15 minutes later, drops down to 116 for F2 pool. Uh, F2 pool after about 20, 20 minutes is 104. And now as of recording, 27 minutes it's 102. Let me refresh now. It shows 103 now. So it's kind of coming back up. So one thing I kind of want to correlate uh, total together though, the hash rate I saw that dropped off was maybe around 80 to 90 terahash according to mining pool stats here. Okay. Just overall, right. According to the numbers that it was getting from all the different uh, mining pools. I mean, you know, the beginning here, 968 and then we went all the way down to, let's say, 879 after about 15 minutes. 879. Now, a thing I want to correlate with some of the hash rate coming back online now from 879 to what it is now. It is uh, 880 around there. I know the Inosilicon A10 Pros, they do take a little bit to also connect, like re reconnect as well. So I think the DAG file, I know the building of those is less than 10 minutes. So the inner silicons are probably already back on now, but the jazz miners as of recording are not. Okay, it's still it still hasn't yeah, it still hasn't connected here. Um so yeah, 31 minutes after hasn't started mining yet, but I'm going to I'm going to wait for this to see if it actually does mine the jazz miners and if it, and if it doesn't then that answers the the question of 5 gigabytes if it has a little bit extra or doesn't have a little bit extra, but I just wanted to show you guys the the, the mining pool stats hash rate difference here it is quite a big difference okay and now i guess the ethereum classic hash rate i did i am noticing a little bit of a jump here on mining pool stats as well it is going up okay it was like 31 
Now it's 32 terahash after about 20, 30 minutes now. Okay. And uh, Ethereum Classic hash rate on two miners is also going up. Two miners is a bit slow. They don't really update quite as, as fast here, but uh, we'll come back to this. The biggest thing I've seen difference here is mining pool stats. So another thing that I also wanted to, uh, so just, just as an example, if, you know, about 80 to 85 terahash is dropped off, you know, together, I'm just going to say, let's just say 85. So that's about, I think that's, if I do the math on two miners of, you know, what's the hash rate, how's it measured. So that would be, I think, 88 million mega hash. Okay, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong here. So let me go back to the calculator. 85, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. 85 million mega hash divided by, let's say, 520, which is the stock hash rate for the jazz miners. That would be 163,000 jazz miners on the network theoretically c could you guys imagine that is there 163 hundred thousand of these jazz miners on the market right now i'm gonna say maybe a bit less because we're not accounting that in a silicons that could have turned off as well uh, five gigabyte models um but you guys can you guys can let me know if that's uh you know roughly you know let's just say 90 one two three one two three divided by five i think uh, if you're overclocked it let's say 550 on the on the jazz miners 160, 160,000, yeah, 990 terahash that has potentially dropped off here, but it's slowly coming back up. My jazz miner here should start, oh, there you go. Nope, my jazz miner is mining. There you go, 232 mega hash. All right, it's going to ramp up here, 381. Oh, I, there you go. I think I, I predicted this in one of my videos a while ago that I was thinking that the jazz miner will still mine because there is a little bit extra memory uh, from what I was looking at in the log. So there you go. It says proof of work result. True. Yay. Okay. So my jazz miner is still mining. Yeah. There you go, guys. 660 mega hash. No, it's, it's probably going to go back down to 500 and something. But okay. So I'm just going to wait for the result on Ethermine here and see if my loyal tech and jazz miners come back up. Be right back. Okay. So it's been about an hour and 45 minutes and the jazz miner is still mining to Ethermine. And now it shows up. You guys can see here. Um, it's probably still going to go up a little bit more here, but averaging, it says 524 mega hash. My loyal tech also came back up. So, but that's six gigabyte mentioned that before. So yeah, I guess it's okay. It's <laughs> the jazz miners can still mine. And another thing I wanted to just quickly show you guys is also looks like the network hash rate for Ethereum has essentially gone back up, probably not at to its peak. And maybe I'm, I'm considering the hash rate drop off still here, maybe a 30, 38 terahash, 40 terahash. It could be the InnoSilicon 5 gigabyte models. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But another thing I forgot to tell you guys is the poolin.com also had a massive drop off in hash rate initially as well. So this was the screenshot here is three minutes before the five gigabyte DAG size, right? And poolin was at 113 terahash. And then after, okay, after, shortly after, I'd say 10 minutes after, Poolin's hash rate was 75.51 terahash after about 10 minutes after the DAG size. So that's a good, I would say, I don't know, 40 terahash that went off Poolin. So whether or not that was all, you know, jazz miners or the InnoSilicon uh, 5 gigabyte models, I'm not quite sure. But man, that's, of course... F2 pool and pool in both I would say mainly in China they have most of the hash rate of uh, ASIC miners over there maybe the most of the jazz miners are definitely in China I have to say uh, one thing to note also as well Hyvon didn't change at all this is three minutes before so they had 98.83 terahash and then 10 minutes after they had still 98.8 terahash so still probably all GPU miners okay so there you guys go. That's something that was uh, pretty interesting to take note of, of, you know, the jazz miner uh, going through the whole thing, just documenting this whole, you know, if it was able to mine Ethereum or not after the five gigabyte DAG. And it was, it was basically able to, I don't have my InnoSilicon A10 Pro five gigabyte here yet, but when I do, I will give it a try on Ethereum. And if it does work, then that might, you know, help us understand roughly how much as either fallen off the network or is slowly coming back up here. Yeah, you know, F2 pool also has jumped back to 125 terahash from 131, three minutes before the, the five gigabyte. So uh, yeah, it looks like it looks like all those jazz miners came back up, but maybe that, you know, six terahash difference could be the five gigabyte A10 pros or 
five gigabyte uh, other ASIC miners out there. And also, actually, another thing to note as well, Ethereum Classic has also jumped in hash rate, it seems. A good couple terahash. So I think some people have also moved over to Ethereum Classic. So it's 31, 38, uh, 31.8 terahash on two miners. I didn't take a screenshot of mining pool stats, but Ethereum Classic here shows 34.99, 33.55. But if we go to Ethereum Classic on two miners, it's now showing 32.39. So I would say a good terahash, maybe half a terahash has moved over to Ethereum Classic. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's it. This video is long enough. Let me know your thoughts. I think I, I went through literally everything. I recorded a lot of screenshots of uh, before and after. Ultimately, I think we've gone down in hash rate overall. Um, I guess we're going to wait for another day here and just see really how much hash rate has dropped off and then it's going to come back on. But I've been finding miningpoolstats.stream is more real-time because it actually takes into account uh, the real-time hash rate on these mining pools. So anyways, my friends, let me know your thoughts. Have a good one. Peace out.